right, let's move on. Our next guest just raised her price targets across the board on the housing names. Ivy Zellman is the CEO of Zellman and Associates. She's back with us. Hope you're well, Ivy. It's good to see you. Been a while. Good to see you. Thanks for having me back, Scott. We, appreciate uh, it. It's been a busy show. I, I sincerely appreciate your patience. There has been a lot more optimism lately about residential real estate. And as we said leading into this, you just raised all your price targets. Talk to me about that. Well, you know, prior to the pandemic, the housing market was very, very strong. Uh, we saw activity uh, really through the back half of 19 and into the early part of, of 2020, um, probably the best of the cycle uh, with orders exceeding uh, 25, 35, 45 percent and pricing was accelerating. So when the pandemic hit um, on March 25th, we expected, as anyone would, with unemployment uh, plummeting and the type of shutdown the economy was having, uh, we had a pretty draconian outlook. And we expected that we'd see a plunge in activity for at least a quarter and then continued weakness for three to four more quarters at minimum. But because of the strength in the housing market with, you know, really three main factors, um, which millennials, you know, finally aging into single family shelter, starting families, number one. Number two, you've got inventories uh, that had been at record levels in terms of how tight they are. And third, you have record low mortgage rates. So we felt that we would see a pretty short muted type of downturn. But Honestly, the recovery that we've seen in May and now into June has been just, uh, just frankly remarkable.